Welcome back, ladies, gents, and non-binary friends. Why is that my intro? I feel like, okay, I feel like if I stop saying it now, like, as my intro, it's going to be weird. But I can't remember, and I can't pinpoint the exact time when I started saying it. Anyway, welcome back. Today, I thought, well, you know what? I've been doing a lot of heavy videos lately and everything has been a roller coaster, especially with regards to Miss South Africa and Miss Namibia going to Miss Universe and then not going to Miss Universe and then going to Miss Universe again. So today I thought I would just sit down and talk about my favorites for the Miss USA pageant this year. Yes, I took some time to think about this and I have come up with a very cohesive list of top 15, top 10 and top 5 candidates as well as of course winner etc. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited for the USA this year. They have some incredible contestants and I don't want to ramble on forever. Otherwise, this video is going to be quite long. But before we do get into this, please remember to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. I post lots of pageant stuff over there as well as take you guys' opinions for these videos. So I would really love to have you. But without further ado, here is my top 15 for Miss USA. 2021. At number 15, I have California Sabrina Lewis. Sabrina is 24 years old and to me she is so beautiful. Of course she's beautiful. I think all of these women are. She's great on camera but I think that she just lacks refinement a bit. I mean this is my personal taste but then again this is my personal list of favorites. Yours can differ and may differ and who knows perhaps Sabrina will win this year but I do think that she lacks a bit of refinement for Miss Universe and to be Miss USA right now but I do think that she is a candidate with great potential I just think that she needs to kick it up a notch when it comes to the way that she likes to portray herself at number 14, I have Oklahoma Albriana. She is 27 years old. She's a model, an actress, as well as a business owner. And to me, I just need a bit more from her. I feel like I'm not getting enough. But yet again, she is in my top 15. She is number 14. So I do think that she has a lot of potential. I just need to see a bit more from her. At number 13, I have Georgia Cora Griffin. She is 25 years old. She is a model, but one thing that I've noticed about her that I think that she can improve on is that she tends to like keep her head down a lot when she is walking. Sometimes she does it, sometimes she doesn't. I don't know what, what that's about, but she does keep uh, tending to do this, and I would like her not to do that. Other than that, I think she's a great candidate for Miss USA this year. At number 12, I have 24-year-old Marley Stokes, who is Miss USA South Carolina. She is a phlegmologist. A phlegmologist? Basically, the person who conducts the test, you know, the, the worldwide bug test. The test that we've all been having to get. Anyway, she's that person. That's what she does for work. Very interesting. And she also has a very huge passion for children. She has a little charity or advocacy project called Crayons for Kids with which she helps children to express their creativity. She herself was diagnosed with learning disability when she was a child. So of course she has this amazing, amazing passion for children and helping children to learn. Other than that, she was also the second runner-up at Miss Teen USA 2016. I have high hopes for Marley. I think like I think that she might be able to break into the top 10, but we will have to see. At number 11, I have the 23-year-old Erica from Nebraska. She is a dentistry student as well as a former cheerleader. To me, Erica just seems like the all-American, I don't want to use the word basic, but she, when you think of like an American girl, like as a foreigner, when I think about the, your average American girl, Erica comes to mind, okay? Maybe not average, but 
I think definitely Erica comes to mind to me when somebody tells me, okay, quickly think about an American girl. Erica is what will pop up. <laughs> but um, anyway, that was a bit of a random sidetracking. I think Erica is great. I think that definitely she might be able to break into the top 10. She seems very sweet and she seems very capable of making friends easily and quite fast and I think that's definitely going to help her with Miss USA this year. Uh, Miss USA has tended to lean towards more bubbly personalities in the past year or so so definitely I think Erica might be able to break into the top 10 maybe even top 5. Speaking of the top 10, at number 10 I have Kentucky L. Smith. She is 23 years old. She is also a model and has quite unique looks. She's also a reporter, which is something that I love because it tells me that she is a great speaker and she can speak on the go. And I love that. That's very important, especially when it comes to onstage Q&A and judges interviews and things like that. Um, I think that L is a strong candidate overall, definitely excited to see where she will end up at Miss USA this year. At number 9, I have a lot of people's favorites, 24-year-old Madison Bryant, who is representing North Carolina. She's also an advocate for the Ronald McDonald House, which is a huge charity in the USA. She also has a degree in neurospecific psychology and obviously being this advocate for the Ronald McDonald House, she has a huge passion for children. I definitely think that Madison has what it takes to break into the top five perhaps, but for me right now, she's at number nine. At number eight, I have 25 year old Amanda Torchia from Connecticut. I think this woman is so beautiful. She is biracial, um, having Afghan and Indian blood. Her advocacy is definitely centered around education and I think that there's just such a beautiful warmth and spark around this woman and definitely she could be one of the best at the competition this year. At number seven, I have the queen coming for a back-to-back, -back, Miss Sydney Bennett, who is 20 years old from Illinois, of course. And she is so interesting because she's only 20 years old, but she's already a business owner with her own clothing company. How amazing is that? She's also a model. And as I said, she is coming for that back-to-back. -back. I do think, however, that 20 is a bit young, especially when it comes to the trend of pageantry nowadays, but I'm not going to let her age get in the way of me seeing her true potential. I definitely think that Sydney has what it takes to break into the top five. For me right now, she's at number seven, but I hope she surprises me. At number six, I have the 27-year-old Ashley Carino from Florida. Ashley is such a surprising woman. She is currently studying aerospace engineering. I wouldn't even know where to start with that. That is so impressive. Not to mention she is an incredible advocate for mental health awareness. I think I've said this for the past three goals, but I definitely, definitely think that Ashley has what it takes to break into the top five. Speaking of the top five, okay, I know that this is going to ruffle some feathers because I put some of my personal favorites in the top five, but this is my personal favorites list. What do you expect? So at number five, I have Layla Nasser, who is Miss USA Maryland. She is Maryland's representative, of course, and she's 26 years old. I just think this woman just oozes, just oozes oozes confidence and sex appeal and I just think that she is glorious. She has a great walk. She is an incredible, incredible woman. She works in tech and she's the founder of an organization or project or whatever called Queens in Tech Connect. And I just think it's so amazing that these women are so diverse. I mean, we have Miss USA Florida, who is not only this amazing, glorious, beautiful woman, but she's studying aerospace engineering. And then we have freaking Maryland, who is this 
amazing beautiful woman who is also working in tech i think it's just so amazing that pageantry is allowing for more nuanced women and i just think that's great at number four we have brianna siaka who is representing New York. She is 27 years old and oh my goodness, this woman's story is so freaking incredible. This was her fifth try at Miss USA New York. This was her fifth try, guys. And I just think it's so incredible that in the end, she finally got to represent New York or she's going to get to represent New York at Miss USA. That is just incredible. The amount of dedication this woman has put in all of these years, getting runners-up title after runners-up title, and now she's finally here. In 2017, she got second runner-up. In 2018, she got second runner-up again. In 2019, she got third runner-up. And she came back she didn't let that deter her in 2020 she got second runner up again and this year finally she was crowned miss new york usa if her stunning face and her glorious performances will not be enough to get her to the crown or to get her to top five her freaking determination sure will be at number three, I have 23-year-old Victoria from Texas. Victoria has a charity project named Victoria's Angels, which leans towards children. I think that's just so amazing. Victoria, to me, is just confident, beautiful, and compassionate. And to me, that is everything that a Miss USA is supposed to be. I will be surprised, to be honest, if Victoria doesn't make finals. But I definitely think she will. I know that a lot of people haven't necessarily put emphasis on her. But I don't know. I just see something in her. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But definitely I think that she has a lot of potential. And I hope she makes top 5 as I'm predicting. In the first runner-up position, I have 27-year-old Alison Chu from Hawaii. Oh my goodness, this woman, I don't even know what to say. She is so beautiful and confident and she comes across as so friendly. I just want to be her friend. She is wonderful. I am really hoping to see her on that final stage at Miss USA. Definitely in the top five is what I'm hoping for. Let's see what happens. But to me right now, my first runner up is Alison Chu from Hawaii. Okay. My winner for Miss USA 2021 is 27-year-old Cataluna Enrique from Nevada. And the reason is, not only is Cataluna a great performer, not only has she already established her brand, not only is she a great fit for Miss USA, she is an advocate for so much more than just herself. She represents so much more than just the state of Nevada up there. This woman, to me, in some aspects, is leaps and bounds ahead of the others when it comes to performance, when it comes to personality, when it comes to branding. I would never say crown her just because she's representing the lgbtq plus community of course not i wouldn't want you to crown a representative who is not able to carry the crown and able to represent the usa the way it should be represented but to me i think that cataluna is so ready i think that she is just incredible and i think that it would be a huge missed opportunity if they don't crown her as Miss USA because she is just so much more than just the title that she's going to be carrying. She is so much more than just the USA. If she goes to Miss Universe, she's going to be representing so much more than just the USA. And I think that's very important to keep in mind. Mostly because when it comes to her readiness, 
I definitely think that she is Miss Universe material when it comes to her looks, when it comes to her performances, when it comes to her advocacy, when it comes to the way she carries herself, when it comes to her personal branding. Cataluna Enriquez is Miss Universe material and I think that it would be a huge missed opportunity if the Miss USA organization and the judges didn't see that. But of course, this is all just my own personal opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Who is your favorite contestant for Miss USA this year? I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I post lots of pageant stuff over there as well as garner you guys' opinions. So I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you in the next one. Bye!